Keynote 775 was uh, a prospective randomized phase three looking at the combination of lenvatinib plus pembrolizumab versus treatment of physician choice in patients with advanced endometrial cancer. During the ESMO 2021, I presented a um, subgroup uh, analysis on by histology and prior therapy. Uh, what we were able to demonstrate is that the benefit in progression-free survival for the combination of lenvatinib and pembrolizumab compared to uh, standard of care, um, this benefit was observed in patients with endometrioid, but also with serous and clear cell carcinoma. So across all different histologies. And this was true for the population with proficient mismatch repair and also in the all camera populations. We also see that the results were very consistent across different subgroups, namely one or more prior line of therapy, receiving neoadjuvant or adjuvant therapy, and also um, according to the uh, platinum free interval less than or um, more than six months. And the same is true for overall survival. Also the benefit in overall survival was maintained across all different histologies. Uh, in this, uh, uh, in this uh, subgroup analysis, according to the prior treatment, actually we saw that patients with uh, uh, one prior platinum treatment had a uh, benefit uh, with the pembrolizumal for patients with more than one prior line of platinum therapy. This is for overall survival. So this maybe is suggested that um, it could be better to use this combination as soon as possible and uh, not to wait after too many lines of treatment because the efficacy could be decreasing in this situation. So this is actually our uh, take home message from this uh, subgroup analysis. First of all, I want to emphasize that these were post hoc analysis and the results should be interpreted with caution. Uh, but we can confirm that lenvatinib and pembrolizumab provided a progression free survival and overall survival benefit compared with the treatment of physician choice in patients with uh, previously treated advanced endometrial cancer including patients with proficient mismatch repair status and all comers. And this is true regardless of histology, including also difficult to treat histologies such as clear cell carcinoma, uh, prior neoadjuvant treatment, and also platinum-free interval. But as I said, patients with one prior line of platinum therapy had more favorable hazard ratios for overall survival and progression to survival than those with more than one prior line of platinum therapy. And so this actually su supports the uh, earlier use of uh, lenvatinib and pembrolizumab.